There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Wasting doctor's time? I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? device. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the old pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all oh, died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can't remember her name? What I heard. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. One man needs a weapon. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Lasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole.
never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. Vorpal blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight for another day. Choose your battles wisely. purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? 
Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dear a girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away.
Matter always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph.